Apparently this OST is made for me. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I feel like I've been stunned into silence this early into a video. <laughs> No words, by the way. I'm so I'm sorry I haven't said anything yet. Hi, how are you all? Hollow Knight. I guess I am flawed already. <laughs> Moving on to Dirtmouth or Dirtmouth. I don't know if it's like a place, maybe. By the way, these little uh, mini like looping cutscenes are courtesy of the Embraced One. Their channel is who I'm using today for all of the OST that I'm listening to, so shout out to them, their link will be in the description. And huge thanks to Efreen for recommending some of the uh, songs you're hearing today. Oh no. Is the entire OST like this? This is absolutely gorgeous, oh my goodness. This might be the calmest you'll ever see me. Usually I'm bouncing like crazy, but this. Oh. oh, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Oh my God. If you're watching this video straight from like my Undertale one, <laughs> this is a very different video. I might have to learn some of these pieces for the piano because this is, this is, I feel like I'm not reacting enough. <laughs> but did anyone else hear these themes for the first time and just kind of sit there and absorb it? Because I feel like that's what I'm doing. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, Mantis Lords. Oh. Ooh. I was kind of curious as to what like a boss theme would be for an OST that was that was so far very melancholy and very relaxed. This. The harpsichord here is beautiful. Wow. Oh, that was, that was gorgeous. I feel like I'm speaking too loud still. But wow. This I'm really sorry I haven't spoken. <laughs> I haven't said anything about my thoughts, but this is gorgeous. I've said that too much. I'm... <laughs> that is exactly what I would expect for a boss theme from an OST like what I've heard so far. Intensity, but it seems to be they use pure orchestra. Like... Ugh, wow. Wow, yeah, like they don't use any like synths or anything that sounds modern. 
And I think that all just works so beautifully. I hope that the rest of the OST is similar because if it is, I'm obsessed. The City of Tears. Outside loop. You see the loop? This really adds to it, I think, for me. Seeing that just the little loops of the little scenes. Oh, this choir is gorgeous. I love a choir. I hope my mood matches the energy, because I feel like it does. I feel like I'm very relaxed today. But Cursed was right when he, he told me this OST was the one that would speak to me, like the one that I would enjoy the most. Oh, because it's my kind of OST and it really is. It's so haunting. It's so beautiful. Oh my god. What's going on in the back? Hello. Come forward. Come forward. What are you up to? What is that? It gives such a different vibe. Oh. Oh, and it's all fading now. Oh, and it's slowing down again. That's... Oh. They're playing with minors and like diminished chords and like imperfect cause really well to like make everything clash in a way that sends a chill down your spine but this sadness that they managed to put in like the minor key really makes you feel something i've never been so like shocked into silence <laughs> I always just feel like I'm I'm completely at peace listening to this OST, which says something about me, I think, because a lot of this so far sounds very melancholy, very sad. Uh, so what does that say about me? I don't know. Ooh. Oh, the male vocals are gorgeous. The real low baritone end and having the low end of like the cellos to match with that just after all the high end we heard is really nice but there's like a hint of distortion in there somewhere and it's all oh, it is gorgeous wow Oh my god. The female vocals are doing like doing their vocal in oohs instead of ahs just makes it all feel a lot more like closed in, like just closed off from the world. It brings in that loneliness. This is absolute, I am, I feel like I'm speaking really quietly as well. I'm really sorry. I'm just so enamored by it and it's still going. I've been sat here for four minutes. It doesn't feel like it. Ooh. I thought it was about to do something insane in the last minute there that I was going to like lose my mind, but wow. Again, I feel really bad that I haven't said anything, really. It's meant to be a reaction. You're meant to be here for how I react to these things. But I feel like, is this reaction good enough? Just my absolute stunned silence. I feel like that speaks more words than my words do. Oh my god. That. 
That was phenomenal. Everything about that was absolutely gorgeous. <sighs> wow. Moving on to Queen's Gardens. The harp. The harp. Also, is this the first drum I've heard? Or some, some form of percussion anyway? Oh wow, the plucking on the strings to match with the harp is gorgeous. The really light, just hi-hat. That's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love how mystical it makes it feel. It really does make you feel like magical. I mean, again, probably looking at the little like looping scene that I have in front of me is really immersing me in it. But even if I couldn't see anything, I would still think this sounds magical like we are in some sort of mystical what feels like a forest even though i see it says gardens but wow wow that's they all seem to flow together so nicely yet they're all so distinct as well and it's just like wow white palace oh this looks different to everything else so far. This is the palace of said queen? I don't know anything about Hollow Knight, by the way. I know it is some sort of platformer thing. I think. But that is all I know about it. I wasn't expecting the OST to be this, like, in-depth and this beautiful and this, like... Immersive. I think immersive is a really good word to use for this OST. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Oh my god. I could just sit and listen to this all day and just like stare blankly at a wall and just be content. Oh my. My jaw has been dropped for like this entire video, I think. Again, I'm so sorry, I've hardly said anything. But I feel like anyone who recommended me to listen to this OST expected it, that I just wouldn't have words. <sighs> wow. I really hope that any like in-game sounds match with the music because I can't imagine me jumping around like ha, hu, he, ha, wah, like <laughs> whilst this is playing. God, this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. This is, this is, this is, this is absolutely stunning. I am- I have been floored by this. Are we building? Are you letting the low end take the lead? Oh! That real low end, like, base. 
with a harp. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the most beautiful OST I've ever heard in my life. I have no doubt in my mind. Oh. Oh my. Wow. 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 Kingdom's Edge. Oh, this one feels a bit more creepy. Oh, that distorted, like, is that like a xylophone? Marimba or something? Just a ding. It clashes horribly. Not in like a bad way, but like it's meant to sound off. And that is so creepy and I love it. Yeah, this one feels more ominous. More, was empty. I don't know how. I think it's just where the instruments don't seem to kind of line up together. They all seem to be doing their own separate thing that just kind of works together brings in some sort of emptiness like everything is very alone oh that low and again the distortion like the, the clashing notes typically those would be notes that are like sitting right next to each other Yeah, that's, that's mysterious, ominous, empty, and I love it. I love it. <laughs> Birthplace. Oh, this sounds like it's gonna be sad. As if everything else hasn't felt some sort of sad already. I need you guys to hit the like button for how shocked I have been. And subscribe as well. We are really close to 5,000 subs. We might already be there by the time this video comes out. I don't know, but please. A solo violin. Based on the little scene I'm seeing and the name of this track. And the lone violin. Is this where our little dude was born? Whoever our little dude is? Was our little dude born alone? Oh my god. Oh, the choir building. Wow. The high vocals are gorgeous. These feel quite cut together. The name of this video is Birthplace All Stages. So am I to assume that we hear this different versions of the same thing, like this theme, at different points? 
Or is this just the way it's put together? Did they choose to make it feel so, like, separate? Oh, the brass. I think this is the first time there's been brass. I might be wrong, but this is the first time I'm noticing it. This almost feels like it's telling a story all on its own. Oh, I really want to know what that story is. Oh my god. I think this is my favourite. This feels very impactful. I need to know about this. This OST. This theme. This game. I need to know about it. Wow. Final, final boss. The Radiance theme. This... Also, this is the first time there's been real colour. Well, there's there's been, like, colour, I think. But this is, like, the first real burst of it that I've noticed. It's all been very muted, very monochrome. All black, white and grey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Considering the rest of the OST that I have heard, this feels like the, the most menacing final boss theme ever. In comparison to everything else, this is so different. And so intense. It's bringing in like everything that we've had into one terrifying thing. This might just be the best OST I have ever heard. <laughs> 